In the cold, dark corners of Scotland's rich folklore lurk terrifying mythical creatures, each with a tale as bone-chilling as the last. Scotland, a land steeped in history and culture, is a tapestry woven with threads of enchanting tales and mythical beings. Its lush landscapes, rugged highlands and mysterious lochs have been the birthplace for countless legends, each more intriguing than the other. Whispered in hushed tones around crackling fires, these tales have been passed down through generations, becoming an integral part of Scotland's cultural fabric. From the highlands to the lowlands, from the bustling cities to the quiet rural hamlets, these mythical creatures are deeply ingrained in Scottish identity. They symbolise the supernatural, embody human fears, and reflect the harsh realities of life in old Scotland. Today, we delve into these chilling tales, counting down the eight most terrifying mythical creatures of Scotland's folklore. As starting our countdown, we encounter the Gilly Do, the benign guardian spirit of the birch trees. This petite elf-like figure is a devoted protector of Scotland's dense forests, especially the birch trees. Donned in garments of moss and leaves, the Gilly Do blends seamlessly into the woodland environment. Despite its small stature, this creature is known for its strength and courage when defending its territory from harm. This forest dweller is generally peaceful and has been known to safeguard lost children, guiding them safely out of the dense woods. The Gilly Doo serves as a reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the importance of its protection. However, not all creatures in Scottish folklore are as benevolent as this tree guardian. Transitioning from the calm of the forest, we move towards the chilling streams where the Ben Nye lurks. The Ben Nye, or the Washer at the Ford, is a spectral figure resembling a banshee. This female spirit is often seen washing blood-soaked clothes in the river, an eerie sight that foretells imminent death. Her appearance is fearsome, her presence is unsettling, and her activities are a grim omen of what's to come. The sight of the Ben Nye washing clothes is a sign that someone's end is near, a chilling forecast that sends a cold wave of fear down anyone's spine. Unlike the Gilly Do, the Ben Nye is a symbol of dread and death, a stark contrast to the woodland protector. While the Gilly Do encourages respect for nature, the Ben Nye serves as a chilling reminder of the inevitability of death. From the benign Gilly Doo to the deadly omen of the Ben Nye, Scotland's folklore already sends shivers down our spines. As we journey deeper into the shadows, we encounter the formidable Kyliak Burr, the Queen of Winter. This imposing figure is no mere mortal, but a goddess of the highlands, a personification of winter itself. With a heart as cold as the season she represents, the Kyliak Burr is a protector of wildlife, ensuring their survival through the harsh winter months. She's a creator too, credited with sculpting the rugged Scottish mountains and hills. When the warmer months arrive, the Kalak Burr doesn't retreat or flee. Instead, she transforms into stone, resting until the frost once again claims the land. But let's not linger too long in the icy grasp of the Kalak Burr for another figure casts a dark shadow over the Scottish Highlands. Meet Black Donald, a name whispered in hushed tones and fearful glances. Black Donald is another name for the devil himself in the northern parts of Scotland. This malevolent being is a master of disguise, known to appear in various forms. Sometimes he takes the guise of a goat, a creature both innocuous and unsettling. At other times he appears as an old man, his age belying his wicked intent. Black Donald is renowned for his mischievous and malevolent deeds. He's a trickster, a being who takes pleasure in the discomfort and misfortune of others. His tricks are no mere pranks, though. They're often laced with a touch of evil, a hint of malevolence that leaves his victims chilled to the bone. From the icy reign of the Kailiach Burr to the devilish tricks of Black Donald, these tales are not for the faint of heart. These beings, born from the rich tapestry of Scottish folklore, represent the embodiment of nature's harshest realities and mankind's deepest fears. They're reminders of the dark corners of our world and the shadows that lurk within ourselves. As we venture further into the realm of Scottish mythology, let's keep our wits about us, for who knows what other creatures lurk in the shadows, waiting to be discovered. Our journey into Scotland's most terrifying tales leads us next to the shape-shifting Each Uisca. 
Imagine a creature, an equine being of supernatural origin that can transform at will into a handsome man, a magnificent horse, or even a giant bird. This is the Ich Uisker, the water horse of Scottish folklore, a creature as alluring as it is deadly. It is said to inhabit Scotland's lochs and coastal waters, emerging to prey on unsuspecting humans and cattle. Deceptive and cunning, the Ich Uisker lures its victims close with its charm, only to drag them into the depths never to be seen again. This creature is a chilling reminder of the dangers that, according to legend, lurk beneath the tranquil surfaces of Scotland's waters. But not all creatures of Scottish folklore are as fearsome as the Ich Uish. Let's shift our attention from the deadly waters to the rolling hills of the Shetland and Orkney Islands. Here in the earthen mounds live the Trows. These small creatures, while mischievous, are far from malevolent. They are described as being shorter than a man, with a distinct aversion to iron. The trows are not just known for their mischief, but also for their love of music and dance. When the moon is high, it is said they emerge from their mounds to engage in lively dances, their music echoing through the hills. Their playful nature serves as a stark contrast to the grim tales of the Ich Uisker, offering a touch of whimsy amidst the horror. From the deadly waters of the Ich Uisk to the lively dances of the Trolls, Scotland's folklore offers a captivating blend of horror and whimsy. Indeed, these tales serve as a testament to the richness of Scottish culture, painting a picture of a land where beauty and danger, reality and fantasy, joy and fear, all coexist in a fascinating tapestry of stories. Finally, at the climax of our chilling journey, we encounter the bloodthirsty Red Cap. This malevolent entity is said to resemble an old man, but don't be fooled by his age. He's far from frail, sporting sharp claws, large teeth, and eyes that burn with a malevolent fire. His most distinctive feature, however, is his red cap, a grim hat dyed with the blood of his victims. This creature haunts the ruins of old castles, lying in wait for unsuspecting travelers. Once he has you in his sights, escape becomes a daunting task. His speed defies his age and his strength, his size. From the blood-soaked red cap, we move to the slur, the spirits of the restless and unforgiving dead. These malevolent entities are considered the most feared creatures in Scottish folklore. They are said to take the form of a flock of birds flying through the night sky, their mournful cries sending a shiver down the spine of anyone who hears them. Their mission? to steal the souls of the dying. They swarm into houses, drawn by the presence of death, and once they claim a soul, it is lost forever. The slur are feared more than death itself, for in death there is peace, but for those whose souls are taken by the slur, there is only eternal torment. Their existence is a chilling reminder of the consequences of a life ill-spent, of the vengeance of those wronged in life, and of the relentless pursuit of the slur for the souls they crave. From the blood-stained hat of the red cap to the soul-stealing slur, Scotland's folklore harbours tales that truly terrify. These stories passed down through generations serve as a stark reminder that even in the most serene landscapes, there may lurk entities that go bump in the night, waiting for their next victim. Scotland's folklore is a treasure trove of terrifying tales, each creature a testament to the country's rich and haunting history. From the moss-clad Gilly Do, a benevolent guardian of birch trees and lost children, to the ominous Ben Nye, her eerie laundry routine, a foreboding omen of death. We've journeyed through the icy highlands with the Queen of Winter, Kyliach Burr, and braved the malevolent tricks of Black Donald. We've been lured by the shape-shifting Ich Uish, danced with the iron allergic trows and dared to cross paths with the blood-soaked red cap. Lastly, we felt the cold touch of the Sluar, their relentless pursuit of souls more chilling than death itself. These eight mythical creatures, each terrifying in their unique ways, are symbols of nature, the supernatural and human fears. They've shaped Scotland's culture and folklore, weaving tales that continue to haunt and fascinate. Whether it's the benign gilly do or the terrifying slew, each tale sends a shiver down our spines, reminding us of the chilling depths of Scotland's folklore. 